You wondering if there's a trick to sewing straight? There's a few tips I can give you coming up. Hey, Chanel here with another Sobit, bringing you weekly videos to help you get better and better at your fashion sewing and be more creative too. Be sure to subscribe. So why am I doing a video on how to sew straight? <laughs> because I've been teaching sewing for 11 years now and I've been sewing myself about 45 years. I started with as a little itty bitty kid. <laughs> And I don't remember learning how to sew straight. Um, and I don't remember sewing crooked. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I did. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I do know that it, it all comes very easily the more you sew and the more practice you get. So you can't get, you know, impatient with yourself. It's progress, not perfection. I'm, in my class, is more interested in the student operating the machine right, guiding the fabric, um, learning how to mark uh, seam allowances and that kind of stuff. The sewing straight gets better and better every time you sew. So um, be good to yourself on that. Uh, this is actually uh, one of my students sewing is did, was doing pretty good and then kind of doo -doo went off like that. They probably pulled a pin out and uh, went off a little bit so that's actually one thing that does not show you at the machine on that and then right here just kind of went off a little bit this kind of thing I in my classes would let pass for a very beginner because I'm more interested in them being able to mark it and match it up and um, um, all this gets a little bit easier as you go so I'll show you a couple little tips on using the sewing machine and sewing straight and in the meantime don't forget to subscribe and I'll bring you more and more videos along the way to help you on your sewing journey so I'll see you at the sewing machine well there's a couple tools that you can use to help you sew straight um, one of them is this seam guide it's got a pretty heavy-duty magnet on the back side and then it has this like a base right here or kind of guide and you actually put it right where, um, if you, this is called your throat plate, and I, I have measurements on mine, some machines don't, um, but you find like where the 5 8 is, I'll show it to you here, I don't know if you can see it, 5 8 and you put it on your 5 8 You also have to really check which way your needle's going. The width button on my machine here will change that width button, and I actually, oops, I actually change my presser foot I have a zigzag foot because I like it center for my students right here so I have moved the needle it's actually not exactly on the 5 8 so um, if I have it in the middle I have to adjust my seam guide here to be where from the needle hits and over to 5 8 and that can really help you keep um, your seam straight and what you want to do is when you're sewing you're going to be looking right about here um, not looking at the needle, but looking at like where this is edging up to the seam guide. If it pushes up right here, obviously then you're going to get, you're going to go off and it's going to be a bigger seam allowance. Or if you're a little bit further away, you'll be uh, not on 5 8 So you're actually just going to just be looking, like my eyeballs are right here, looking right at this, watching where that's hitting. You can also move it up a little bit more too if you need to do that. So it's movable. Like that. So I'll show you how you would just sew a 5 8 inch seam right here. I'm going to press your foot here. Okay. So you also, I don't have my hands right here um, pressing down on it, causing smaller stitches. If you like do this, you're not letting the feed dogs take. And I'm just kind of lightly, I'm letting the machine the machines will really sew straight. You just have to kind of guide it a little bit. Sometimes they'll just, um, I mean, obviously the machine just goes straight, but it's your, it's your thing that's going through there that's not. But you're just gonna lightly guide it through. I mean, literally, not really just basically touching it, just letting it go. My eyeball's right there. I'm looking at that. Just sew it. Take 
that out. I have a nice straight line right there. Now if you want to do a quarter inch seam allowance, I call this, actually I'm going to take this off of here, um, the edge of this presser foot from the needle down to the edge of the presser foot, I call it a healthy quarter of an inch because um, it's just a tad wider. So actually you could put um, that right on the edge and if I, my eyeball is right here, looking at where the edge of this presser foot is at, right here. And I'm just following the edge of the fabric to the edge of the presser foot. And I'm letting the fabric go through, just lightly keeping it on track with my fingers here and not trying to hold on to the fabric. I cut that and then I have a nice straight line there. So also, if you have an electronic machine, which means all the little computers and stuff in there, you don't want to use these because of the magnet. Actually, a, um, just like a painter's tape is good here. And you can actually put it like right on the line there, and you can use that as a guide to follow right here. You can even make it longer if you needed to. Just the whole tape right there, and just really just follow it that way. So that's another thing you can do. And some machines have um, systems that will help you. Just gotta look in your instruction book. Now if I want to just, if I'm freeze sewing here and I'm going to just sew on this mark here, I'm just going to, my eyeball is about here watching um, this line and I'm just relaxed about it. It takes a lot, just practice. Just be relaxed about it. Don't try to control your fabric. And it will sew straight on there. You got it straight on there. I see a lot of people trying to, they're trying to control the fabric and you really got to just trust that the machine, these little feed dogs under here are guiding it and it can't go anywhere but straight. So now if I'm going to go this line here, oops, there's my little thread got caught in from this one. <laughs> I'm going to go to this pivot point here, I'm going to put the needle down, pivot, put it back down, right there. You can also walk your machine too, you can walk the needle all the way wherever you want it to, like that, because basically as long as you're going in the same direction, and you're gonna, now, if I, now I'm sewing alongside the line, I'm going to walk it to there, pivot, get back on the line, pivot there, right there, and I go right off of it. Your little reverses should just be a little drop also, they don't have to be way back. And there's that, so that's even me sewing right off of, just right on the edge right there. So that's how you sew straight. You just basically practice. I would get a swatch of fabric like this and practice because obviously not everything's going to be straight and perfect right away. Um, and just get a feel for the machine, get a feel for how fabric goes through. Also, when you're working on different fabrics, it's going to be a little more difficult. Also, if you have pins that you're pulling out, you actually want to stop and pin and take the pin out instead of trying to beat it like that because people tend to kind of go like that and that's how I see a lot of crooked sewing. So you actually just want to be sewing along, like let's say we have a pin here, let's say we're going to sew right here, sew along there, so right here I'm following that edge. I'm going to stop, take out my pin, put it to the right, and carry on like that. Let's say if I have another pin here stop take it out this is what I see a lot of and they're going like that so they're moving the fabric around they're trying to beat the the pins so uh, that is so you start to go off a little bit but that is how you sew straight you just practice a lot and follow these tips and you'll get really good at it well there you have it number one tip is don't try to control the fabric Take it easy, let it go through, let the feed dogs do their job. And just watch 
um, not right at the needle, but at the um, at the guide point there. So just try different ways, and pretty soon it's gonna be pretty easy. Don't worry, okay? <laughs> so let me know in the comments below anything else that you're struggling with that um, as a beginner sewer, what I can help you with. Maybe I can do a video for you. All right, I'll see you in the next sew bit. <laughs>